Persons with disabilities in the West Nile region have been urged to embrace persons with disabilities unions that are accessible in the different parts of the West Nile region so as to access information and services that will be beneficial to their livelihood. This remark was made during the handing over of the mobile operating device to a visually impaired beneficiary by the representative of the Aurora City Union Persons with Disabilities and FETAS events. Ezama Wilson, an upcoming gospel artist and the beneficiary of the White Cane, is appealing to the community to support and not undermine persons with disability. I'm urging people really not to undermine disability people. Let them let, let them look them like they are seeing themselves. So I'm I'm thanking also people who have supported me, especially GTC. GTC means gospel team with Christ, which means those who are supporting me. They are moving together with me in the ministry. So I want to thank them. People who are outside, uh, it's not only be me, to, uh, uh, it's not only be me uh, to be supported, it should also support other people also here. Other, other people who are near you, you should also support them. Whatever challenge you are undergoing, whether being poor or rich or in a hospital or you are orphan, that's God's plan. God knows why He has made that. He's taken care of you, like He's did. He's doing uh, with me. He's now uh, He's now taking control. Uh, he's taking control in all the situations I'm undergoing. Minus Him, He wouldn't see me holding this. This one could remain. Now there's a change. He made it. I thank God. I thank everybody and I thank Papa for the support. I thank government for the support. I thank everybody. Masi Wini Ochoku, the advocate for the persons with disabilities representing Aurora City Union of Persons with Disabilities, thank the non-governmental organizations for their support in providing such services to the visually impaired persons and persons with disabilities, stating that many visually impaired persons suffer because of lack of mobility. As such, mobile operating devices are expensive. Devices. These assistive devices are not easy to access individually because they are quite expensive. But uh, there are some organizations, partners who love to support by giving out these tools. Um, and um, that is how majority of us here in this region are able to access point games, are able to access wheelchairs, uh, hearing aids, crutches, and all that. So when they, are, uh, they come uh, giving out these things, persons with disabilities are normally mobilized. But the unfortunate bit is that those who are a bit far from the town centers, the urban centers, are really hard to reach. So information um, really does not reach to them adequately. And I don't you know because of the budgetary issues, these organizations also do not go deeper into rural places. So you realize that our persons with disabilities in the rural areas is always a little bit hard for them to access uh, in terms of such opportunities of assistive devices. So for me, the thing is that they should be known, they should make themselves known to the various unions where they are. Like um, this social center houses the um, arrested union of persons with disabilities. And even the rural district union sits in this same building. And um, my advice is get to know one, two, three leaders of persons with disabilities that you can reach out to in case of such opportunities that you can be thought about and you benefit. Persons with disabilities have therefore been urged to register themselves under their respective PWD unions so as to be able to access information and services in order to improve on their livelihoods. Okumaringa Christine, for West Nile Television, Nile Cast.